Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are once again outsmarting smart shapes. We are going to be looking at slur settings today, and Finale has a lot of settings that can be applied to slurs. Uh, in the smart shape menu, we have slur contour, there's placement for slur in the smart shapes placement uh, menu, and also smart slur options, which will deal with design a little bit more. Um, so there's a lot to it, but for this, for right now, I think we're going to look at slur contour and slur placement specifically. So let me just zoom in here a little bit, and let's start talking about slur contour. Now the slur contour dialog box has a couple pieces to it. In the top section here, you'll see the slur, and there's a single handle here. And we can actually grab that handle and move it around to change the contour of the slur. We can make it a, a little uh, higher or shorter. And we can also move it left or right to change the inset so we can get some really funky results this way. You get a ballooning type of slur. Um, lots of different things to do there. And incidentally, whenever you make changes, we can always go and hit the reset button and it will reset the, the slur height and inset to um, their uh, default positions as they are when it comes out of the box. So what we have here, and by the way, the bottom section here is will give you sort of the result of what the slur will look like on different notes. And what we have here is we have four different spans. We have a short, medium, long, and extra long span that Finale will define. And each of these spans can have a different height and a different inset value. And the short span will be defined as 0.125 inches. Um, the medium will be one inch. This is the length of the slur from the left tip to the right tip. Long span will be three inches. And extra long will be four inches, right? And you can see as I'm uh, selecting different spans here, these height and inset values will change, right? And um, this will allow us to uh, get different heights for different lengths of slurs, because obviously we want a longer slur, if you look on my score here, to be a little bit higher off the baseline than a, than a really short slur, right? <coughs> Otherwise, these really short slurs would look really um, tall and weird, and, uh, and that, that wouldn't be good. Now, the way this works is that between these four spans, right, the short span is set to 0 0.125, the medium span is a, an inch long, and the long span is three inches long. So between the medium and long span, you know, there's two inches of length. So if you have a, uh, a slur that's two inches long, um, you know, you're not going to get a slur that's going to be 0.2 inches, and you're not going to get a slur that's going to be 0.3. Uh, 0.25 inches. You're actually going to get a slur that's going to be have a height of between 0.2 and 0.25 inches, right? So a slur of two inches long will get a height of 0.225 inches. So it's essentially it's scalar, right? So the longer the slur, the closer it approaches the long span length, the closer the height will get to 0.25. And as it gets shorter, the closer it gets to one inch, the the closer it will get to 0.2. Uh, height, if that makes sense. And the same applies to the inset. Now we'll notice that the inset is going to be the, the the reverse of the height. So the inset's going to be larger on the shorter spans and sh uh, smaller on the longer spans. Now just um, to illustrate this with the extra long span, we have an inset of 18% right here. And if we were to make this really, sh basically what the inset is, is um, it's sort of the point at which the the curve sort of maxes out on the side, right? So, and the percentage is a, uh, the percentage of the length of the slur. So 18% means that 18% along the length of the slur is where that uh, control point is for the inset, and that's where the slur starts to flatten out. And then it's, it happens the same way on the, on the other side. So 18% of the way from the right edge, the slur will start to uh, flatten out. Now, if we make the inset smaller, let's make this 5%, you can see what happens to the slurs that you get a sort of a sharp curvature at the beginning until about 5% of the length. And then it really starts to flatten out through the middle. And you have sort of a flat topped slur when you have a smaller inset percentage, right? If we were to make this really high, 45%, <coughs> you'll see that, that uh, the inset is all the way over here, 45% of the way across the length of the whole slur. So you get a really kind of steep almost a straight line for uh, the majority of the beginning of the slur. And then uh, then it sort of curves, and then there's not much top to it, and then it goes down. almost looks like an inverse V in a lot of ways, right? So that's uh, the difference between uh, the shorter or the smaller inset percentage versus the larger inset. 
percentage, right? So this is why we want the smaller inset percentage and the longer spans, because the longer spans, we definitely want to have a little bit of a flatter top. So we've got 18 for the extra long <coughs> and 30% for the short spans, right? Now, the same thing happens with the inset. I may have mentioned it will, if the length of the slur is between, you know, the medium and long span, the inset value will also be between 25 and 20%, right? Now, the one thing is that if the slur itself, in the case of the short span, is shorter than 0.125 inches, the height will basically bottom out at 0 0.0555 inches high. It won't actually get shorter than that if the span is shorter than what's set here at 0.125. Same thing with the inset. It's not going to get higher than 30%. And with the extra long span, if you have a 5-inch slur, it's gonna, the height is going to cap out at 077 height, right? So that's uh, an 18% inset. So that's just sort of how that works. And, uh, you know, if you want all of your, theoretically, you could have all of your uh, slurs be the same height, right? If we were to set this all to 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.2 for the medium, 0 0.2 for the long, and 0.2 for the extra long. And you can see what happens is that now, if you look on this first system, all of these slurs will actually be along the same sort of horizontal plane. And you can see why that's not a good idea, because these short ones look really bizarre, whereas the long one looks, you know, perfectly fine. So that is the reason for the, uh, the, uh, the different lengths, or different heights, rather. Let me just go back and reset these. Um, so, you know, the, you can play with some of these values. If you, if you like a f slightly flatter slur, you can change the inset value to be slightly less um, for all of these. Uh, and if you want a slightly um, higher slur across the board, just, you know, change these values to be slightly higher. The one thing I will caution you about is that do make sure that everything is, um, goes in steps so that the heights, you know, you don't want to have like a, a, a height on the medium span of 0.2 and on the long span have it like 0.18 because <coughs> you know it, you'll get some weird results where the the slurs in between will sort of dip down and then the heights will dip down and and, and then go back up uh, dramatically between the long and the extra long span so you know uh, if you're going to make some adjustments make sure that they're all proportional and uh, you know with the height it's shorter for the short spans, larger for the, the long spans, and with the inset, it's the opposite, where you have larger numbers for the short spans and, and smaller numbers for the extra long uh, spans. All right, uh, so that is how slur contour works. So let's talk about uh, slur placement. Now, when I say placement, I, I don't mean the positioning. So the positioning of the slurs are going to be dependent on the the way that the note heads and stems are right so you can sort of see how it it's dr gets drawn above in this first bar below above 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 and then you know below in these other situations these are kind of set by finale and you can't really change that and this has to do with you know the direction of the stems or the note heads and everything um, of course we can change them manually just by flipping the slur with the f key right and um, you know we can do things like that but by default this is the positioning that that finale puts the slurs in. What I'm talking about with uh, placement has to do with the uh, beginning and end points of the slurs. So let's go to Smart Shape Placement. And in this Smart Shape Placement dialog box, we actually can change more than just the slurs. We can change the tab slide, glissando, and guitar bends as well. But we're going to just concern ourselves with slurs for now. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a whole bunch of scena different scenarios for the slur position or placement, rather. Um, and you can select each one, and every time you select one, you'll get different values for start point, horizontal, vertical, and end point, horizontal, and vertical, right? So this is how we're going to change how much or, or where the end point of the slur is in relation to either the stem or the note head, depending on which uh, direction we have in that particular scenario. Now, one thing about uh, the smart shape placements, I, I do think it's easier to think in EVPUs in this case instead of inches because with EVPUs, you'll get some whole numbers instead of these weird uh, decimal places for inches. So sometimes I think it's better to switch to EVPUs for this. And um, <coughs> so let's just talk about what the horizontals and verticals are. So the horizontals 
a, a zero horizontal will center the s uh, the end of the slur horizontally on the note head if the slur is note head side, right? So if I were to actually change this to a positive value, let's make this eight, the end of the slur will move to the right. You'll see that. And if I were to make this a negative number, the end of the slur will move to the left, as you can see like that, right? So it's right of center on the left note head and left of center on the right note head, right? Um, and this is uh, absolute, so positive numbers will always go right and negative numbers will always go left. Just like the slur contour, we can always just hit the reset button and it will go back to these uh, predefined values. With the vertical values, the zero point for the vertical in on the note head side anyway will, will be the very edge, the very top edge of the note head. So if I were to set this to zero, you'll see that that slur end point happens right on the top of that note head. Same thing over here. All right, so that's our zero point is the top and center of the note head. When it is stem side, the zero point is actually centered on the stem, not on the note head this time, right? So in this case, with the uh, slur on the stem side, it's actually trying to place it um, further inward. And that's why we get these values of start point uh, horizontal of 12 and negative 12. Again, if we were to put these at zero for both of these, you can see that the slur now gets pinned to the actual uh, uh, stem itself, right? Which is not what we probably want. And when it's stem side, the vertical will actually get placed on the, the zero point will be the very top of the slur, which is why we have negative values here, which is placing this, the end of the slur a little bit below the top. So actually in this case, if we were to change all these numbers to zero, just like that, you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, basically the end, the top point of that uh, stem is where that slur is originating and ending on, right? <coughs> and so changing these values will will get it off of that point. And with the vertical, negative numbers will always go down, positive numbers will always go up. In fact, we can change this to positive 24 and you'll see it go above that point. Um, this is uh, somewhat dissimilar. I think articulations, uh, for example, positive numbers mean it goes farther away and negative numbers mean it goes closer. But in the case of smart shape placement, negative always goes downwards and positive always goes upwards uh, despite the direction of the stem itself, all right? And so like I said, we have different options for different scenarios. This is the above the note head, below the note head situation. You can see the vertical is now negative here versus positive um, above the stem. Uh, stem side when there's different layers. So we can actually have two different placements <coughs> in this scenario if we wanted to. Um, this is below for when there's layers. Now there will be a little bit difference when there's a flag involved because the flag will actually uh, protrude a little bit further. So you're going to want a, a, a um, horizontal uh, starting point that's a little um, larger than when if it were just on a stem, so which is why I have 24 here. And in some cases, like this one in particular, you'll, you'll notice that you only have options for the start point. You don't have options for the end point. And that's because in this particular case, the end point is similar to another scenario, which happens to be this one. So whatever you change here, and actually let me do this. Let's do a crazy little uh, 24 vertical on the right here, will also affect this one. You can see that, that uh, the end point gets put up there as well. So s occasionally, some of these um, will, some of the endpoints will affect more than one scenario, if that makes sense. Uh, so that is that. We have different options here. This for layers, uh, and then we have options for beams. And obviously, when you have the beam, now we want to center the uh, the endpoints on the stem itself, which is why the horizontal is now set to zero instead of, you know, inset right and left accordingly. Same thing with below. <coughs> we have options for grace notes as well. Um, and we can, again, we can, these are all, uh, you know, adjustments that you can make um, depending on your taste. You know, if you think that the slurs are a little bit too, uh, you know, far away in scenarios like this, you know, you can just change that to 10 instead of 12 and it'll make it a little bit closer, you know. So just ways to customize it. And then finally, there's two more options at the bottom here uh, for slurs when on uh, tablature numbers, right? And in this case, the start point horizontal zero is the center of the num of the number itself all right and the vertical behaves the same way so we have this one which is we'll put the slur above uh, if there's no stems on the tab numbers and this one is if there are stems stems on the tab numbers then the slur will go below and we can set 
these positioning or these placements a little bit differently. Now, interestingly, <clears throat> just FYI, if you have slurs on tablature numbers like I do here and you flip it, if I were to flip this one, this positioning or this placement will take on the placement of this one, right? So we just went from using this placement to using this placement. If we flip this one where the, uh, the slur is on the, the, the bottom here and flip it to the top, now this one will take on the placement that is set for this third one here, which is stem to stem, right? So depending on how you flip these uh, slurs on different um, uh, tablature numbers, uh, it will take on different settings from those placements, all right? And then finally, what I do want to mention about both uh, slur contour and slur placement is that if you make manual adjustments to any of your slurs, in other words, if you select a slur and start changing the arcs and start changing the endpoints and all doing all this stuff, and then you go and make changes to either the smart slur or the slur contour or the smart shape placement of the slur, <coughs> this slur will be left alone. Uh, those those placement and contour options will only apply to slurs that have not been touched manually, right? It's only until you right-click this, uh, right-click any manually adjusted slur, and do remove manual slur adjustments. And when you click remove manual slur adjustments, it will reset this slur to whatever new settings you have for the slur contour and the uh, smart shape placement, and also the smart slur options too, when we get to that eventually. So just FYI, all of these changes you're making will only affect the slurs that have not been adjusted manually um, uh, going forward, right? You would have to r then reset to manual to get the, those, uh, those older manually adjusted slurs to go back to your settings, if that makes sense. And uh, finally, with the contour, the... Um, not only will the slur be affected, but the dashed slur will be affected, and also the dashed curve will be affected. Those three tools will be affect affected by the smart, uh, the slur contour settings. The smart shape placement for slurs will also affect all three of those tools, but it will also affect the position of the bend hat tool, which is interesting. Um, so if I were to put a bend hat right here, just to point this out, one thing you'll notice is that the end point, if I can get in on it, will um, be exactly in the same spot on the bend head as it will on the slur, right? This basically what happens is the, the end, the beginning and end position for this bend hat are exactly the same um, as the slur because it, it takes on those settings as well, all right? Just FYI, so you're aware of that. And I think that covers... Um, I think that covers uh, contour and uh, positioning. Let me just double check my notes real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think that's it. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll come back and we'll start looking at the smart slur options, which is a whole other ball of wax. And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.